dear students in the last video we solved exercise 7a today we will learn division by 10 100 and 1000 first we will learn division by 10 first one 65 divided by 10 The ten is the divisor and sixty-five is the dividend. Ten six is the sixty. Five minus zero is five. Six minus six is zero. Here, quotient is six, and remainder is five. Next, I will take one more example. Three hundred and seventy-eight divided by ten. Ten three is a thirty. Seven minus zero is seven. Three minus three is zero. Next, I will take eight down. Ten seven is a seventy. Eight minus zero is eight. Seven minus seven is zero. Here, thirty-seven is a quotient. Eight is a remainder. Here we can observe that. when we divide any number by by 10 the last digit of the dividend is always the remainder and the number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient in this number 65 divided by 10 here 5 is a remainder and remaining digit 6 is a quotient in this 8 is a remainder and remaining digit is the quotient let's learn second example division by 100 first one 235 divided by 100 here 100 is the divisor 235 is the dividend 100 to the 200 5 minus 0 is 5 3 minus 0 is 3 2 minus 2 is 0 so here quotient is equal to 2 remainder is equal to 35 I will take one more example. Four thousand three hundred fifty-one divided by hundred. Hundred four the four hundred. Five minus zero is five. Three minus zero is. Three four minus four is zero. Next, I will take one down. Hundred three is a three hundred. One minus zero is one. Five minus zero is five. Three minus three is zero. So forty three is a quotient. Remainder is equal to. Is equal to fifty-one. Here we can observe that when we divide any number by the divisor hundred, then the last two digits of the dividend will be the remainder, and the number formed by the remaining digit is the quotient. Here. Thirty-five is the remainder, and remaining digit is the quotient. In this, forty-three is the quotient, 
and last two digit is the remainder let's learn divide by 1000 i will take one example 8360 7 if we divide 8367 by 1000 1008 the 8000 7 minus 0 is 7 6 minus 0 is 6 3 minus 0 is 3 8 minus 8 is 0 so here it is a quotient remainder is equal to 367 i will take one more example 8000 792 divided by 1000 1000 six the 6000 9 minus 0 is 9 7 minus 0 is 7 8 minus 0 is 8 6 minus 6 is 0 next i will take 2 down next 1008 the 8000 2 minus 0 is 2 9 minus 0 is 9 7 minus 0 is 7 8 minus 8 is 0 so the quotient is 68 and remainder is 792 here we can observe if we divide any number by the divisor 1000 then the last three digits of the dividend is the remainder and the number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient here last three digits are 367 is the remainder and remaining digit is the quotient so here quotient is equal to 8 in this number last three digits 792 is a remainder and remaining digits 68 is a quotient if we divide any number by the divisor 1000 then the last three digits of the dividend is always the remainder and the number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient Let's solve exercise 7b. Fill in the blanks. 5,120 divided by 10. When we divide any number by the divisor 10, the last digit of the dividend is the remainder, and the number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient if we divide any number by 10 then last digit is the remainder and remaining digits is the quotient so here 512 is a quotient and remainder is 0 Let's solve second one. Four thousand six hundred fifty divided by one thousand. If we divide any number by the divisor one thousand, then the last three digits of the dividend is the remainder, and the number formed by the remaining digit is the quotient. So here. 650 is a remainder and 4 is a quotient
if we divide any number by 1000 the last three digit is the remainder and remaining digit is the quotient let's solve c1 9570 divided by 100 we know that when we divide any number by the divisor 100 then the last two digits of the dividend will be the remainder and the number formed by the remaining digits is the quotient so here last two digit is the remainder that is 70 and remaining digits is the quotient that is 95 if we divide any number by 100 then last two digit is the remainder and remaining digit is the quotient today's homework solve exercise 7b e to v in your math notes